Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna be showing you a bunch of tools that every car guy needs. Now these aren't all the tools every car guy needs, but this just happens to be a bunch of random tools I picked up just because they were on sale. And I got a really good deal on it. The other day I was on Facebook and I kept seeing people posting this deal on Lowe's.com. Now I didn't pay any attention to it, but after seeing it multiple times throughout the day, I was like, you know what? Well, let me check this out. This socket set was on sale for like 20 or maybe $30 off. But check this out, it also came with this. This freaking toolbox worth $80 for free. So no wonder why everyone was making a big deal out of it. So I went on Lowe's.com, ordered myself this combo deal, and next thing you know, one purchase turned into another, and into another, and to another. <laughs> All right, let's start with this first one. Craftsman, 3 8 ratchet set. More than likely, any car enthusiast already has a 3 8 ratchet set. But yo, this was at a discount, and it's brand new. Now personally, I use the same socket set that I bought a long time ago from Walmart. And uh, I mean, it still serves me well. But to be real with y'all, I always wanted like a good excuse to buy a nice set that that's just newer and uh, looks good. And yo, Craftsman, black and red, hey, black and red, bro. I had to hop on this. Woo! Damn, this thing is super nice. Look at this setup. Oh man, this is like nice and weighted too. Here's my generic one, and here's the new Craftsman one. This. Pretty loud clicking, and this one, very subtle. And it sounds like it has a lot more teeth. If anything, I'd probably take my old socket set, put it in its original box, and just keep it in one of my cars. Cause, you know what? I don't have a toolbox in my car. And, bro, you never know, you might need it someday. <laughs> so if you still don't think you need an extra socket set, hey man, nice upgrade. Doesn't hurt to keep one in the car. And if you have multiple cars, hey man, Get multiple sets. <laughs> All right, and this is the free toolbox I got worth $80, bro. Can I just take it out the box like this? Just an empty box with space in it. That's how the top looks like. It has three shelves. Ooh, it's kind of hard to pull. Is it locked? Is there a key? I don't think so. Oh, oh bro, I'm tripping. So you can't. I guess you can open it. I think you have to have this open in order to open these. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Push it in all the way. Close this. Not bad, not bad. Would I spend 80 bucks for this? Nah, probably not. <laughs> but for free 99? Heck yeah, I'll cop this. So browsing through the Lowe's app, I was able to filter products by uh, special offers. So this is another offer that if you bought it, it would come with a free tool. And I got this, a super expensive battery powered fan. <laughs> I think I spent about 130 on this fan, but the free gift it came with, check this out. The gift itself was worth much more than this fan. The free gift was this battery. Can you guess how much this battery is worth? Brand new from Lowe's, this battery is worth $180. So yo, $130 fan with the free $180 battery, bruh. I just wanna see if this fan is uh, really worth it. <laughs> now I'm not too sure how useful this is gonna be, but yo, it's freaking hot, especially in the garage. And right now I have a fan that's plugged up to the wall. As you can see, it's pretty limited to where I could place this. I'd have to run like an extension cord or something to get it where I want it to be. This was a cheap, probably five, $10 fan from Walmart. But hey, according to the reviews on Lowe's.com, Man, this only had like 25 reviews at the time. But the reviews said that this could run for a few days on a single charge, so we'll see how that goes. I just checked and this deal is still on Lowe's.com. But if you're gonna take advantage of this deal, you're gonna have to buy a separate charger for this battery. You know what? Let me go ahead and uh, charge up this battery right now and we can try to fan out at the end of this video. I got it from Amazon, so that's why it's not in the, its original packaging. Okay. Oh dang. Yo, this thing is pretty huge. What the? This reminds me of freaking uh, Bumblebee from Transformers. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I really don't like that it's yellow. I guess if you're looking for it, it's bright yellow and you can't miss it. 
Oh man, okay. Yo, this is bigger than my head. <laughs> Pretty loud clicking, just in case you don't know if you're uh, turning it. But it seems like it could stay in whatever position you put it in. It also has some uh, foot rest right here, so I can just lay it down. Okay. Pretty neat. Next up, this is a must have. This is a 3 8 torque wrench. Ooh, okay. It goes all the way up to 100 foot pounds. Even if you don't really work on cars that much, this is still great for just torquing your wheel lugs because yo, when you take your wheels to like a tire shop to get your tire replaced, most of the time these tire shops will use an impact gun and just over torque the heck out of your wheel studs or wheel lugs. So, bruh, you need to loosen them, get yourself a torque wrench, set it to like, what, 75 foot pounds, just depending on what kind of car you have and what they recommend. And then you can use this to correctly torque your wheel studs and whatnot. These are still on sale at Lowe's. You could probably just go in there and pick it up yourself. But on the website, yeah, you can still get it for like, I think 30 or 40 bucks off. Originally, these are probably like $90, so you don't have to get it, but hey man, pretty nice quality tool for a really good price. And that's why I had to buy two. <laughs> Not the same thing though. This is a half inch torque wrench. This is like a heavy duty one. This is for big jobs. Like if you're doing like an engine crank pulley bolt or freaking axles or whatever, man. I mean, this was also on sale and I really didn't need it, but I was like, you know what? Hey, it was for a good price. Why not? <laughs> Just to give you a reference on the sizes, this is the Craftsman's 3 8 and this is the Harbor Freight 3 8 This is a $10 torque wrench. Look at that. The Craftsman's a little bit taller than the Harbor Freight. Just another tool I could throw in the back of one of my cars. This is the Craftsman's half inch torque wrench and this is the Harbor Freight half inch torque wrench. Look at the freaking size difference. Yo, this thing doesn't even fit in this uh, video. <laughs> Yo, crazy. I mean, I guess the length of this gives you more leverage, so it's easier to torque something. This thing goes up to 250 foot pounds. So if you're looking to spoil your friend, girlfriend, or someone special, hey man, not a bad tool. Especially with the deals going on right now, take advantage of them, man. Keep an eye out on Lowe's.com and Home Depot. And this is the last tool I got. It wasn't on sale or nothing, but I just happened to be walking through Lowe's and I was like, you know what? Yo, this could be a game changer. Not a game changer, but I mean, it, just, it would just help in special circumstances. So this is just a tiny ratchet, but meant for these little screwdrivers and whatnot. Look at that. Just in case you're trying to get into somewhere that's like really tight. Bruh, I think this is super useful. So my pain is really low, and if I'm trying to like detach the bumper or something, there's no way to get the screwdriver in between the bumper and the tire because my fitment is very tight. I would literally have to jack the lid up and remove the wheel just to get this freaking screwdriver in there to loosen the freaking bolt or screw for the bumper. Yeah. <laughs> but shoot, that's all I have for you today. It seemed like it wasn't much, but it was a lot out of my pocket. <laughs> but yo, let's try out this freaking fan. This has been charging for about 40 minutes. Let's see where it's at. Two bars, okay, two out of three. Not bad, not bad. Get this in here. Okay, not bad. It does feel, it does feel a lot stronger than my plugged up fan over there. All right, fan test, oh shoot. Max setting, it's okay. Oh yeah, this sounds, this feels way better. Ooh. The only thing is that it's more direct. The diameter is uh, a lot smaller than this one. But I mean, huh. I'll try it for a few days and I uh, guess we'll let you know. But hey, you know, if you're outside in the heat, this might be really useful because you can't get a freaking corded fan out there without a long extension cord, so. Eee. But all right guys, that's gonna do for this video. Hope you guys found something that you might like or might wanna cop. Be sure to check out 
Lowell.com and Home Depot.com to find the best deals because, hey man, take advantage of all the sales before everything is sold out. Yeah! Alright guys, deuces.